in front of you this Russian salad. This is always a staple in my family home during Christmas. It goes with the baked chicken, so we've got to have it. If we don't have this, then it's not Christmas at home. And you and I know that certain dishes bring us back to that place. I hope your family loves these recipes as well. One, two, Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a song. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Sabrina's Kitchen, table's waiting for you. Enjoy. <laughs> So what is this? This is a Russian salad and it's very healthy because I've got the beets. You know, pink beets are skin food. They are very good for the kidney and for the liver, right? So I have already boiled these. Just a very important tip about beets. When you're boiling fresh beets, do not um, peel the skin. Okay, let it boil. Let it boil, let it boil. Because if you peel it and, or cut it in half, what's gonna happen is the um, vitamins, the nutrients are gonna run out. You know, the blood will run out into the water. And you don't want that to happen. You wanna keep all that nutrition into your beets, right? Normally we have camote. So I can do a half and half. I can do camote with potatoes, right? And you also see that I have some carrots. That's gonna also go into my salad, lovely. And then celery, the bite of celery. Again, some nice uh, pineapple chunks. Now, here's the twist. Normally, we use all mayo. And mayo is quite heavy, right? So I'm gonna do a half and half. I'm gonna use some mayo and some wonderful Thai kitchen cocoa cream. And the combination of that is just gonna be brilliant in my Russian salad. Of course, I'm going to add some onions. White onions are gonna give it a nice bite. So let's assemble, okay? If you wanna put, by the way, some pasta into this, go for it, but I'm choosing to use my um, camote, as I said, instead of pasta. So in my bowl, my trusty bowl here, I start to throw everything in from my camote to my beets. Lovely beets. Little bit of uh, mayo, which I'm mixing in with my cocoa cream. Lovely, lovely. Of course, my onions. Always, you notice that, almost every recipe have onions, garlic, onions, garlic. Fighting bacteria, fighting virus, it boosting our immune system. Don't remove that from your everyday diets, guys, please. Of course, celery, celery detox, celery, wonderful. And for my last bit of color, of course, carrots. So let's mix this up. I'm gonna just drizzle some salt. And then I do want to put in some of this uh, oregano, just for a little bit of drama, as usual. Just a touch of dried oregano in there, some pepper. And let's mix. As you make it, the uh, mayo and the cocoa cream now comes into your camote, right? And gives it even a better flavor. So it's really, really better the next day. So you get what I'm saying, right? Leftovers, if there is any. Look at that, it's beautiful. And I'm loving that pink color. So remember, when you see pink, pink reminds me of Barbie, Barbie doll, right, Barbie doll. So when you see the pink color of your beets, think about Barbie doll skin and, you know, that Barbie doll glow. That's what the beets give you, right? Okay, and then let me put there some of our garnish. Let's see, so once again, I said you can use parsley and you can use also a lovely um, basil garnish, any, any fresh greens, just so this color pops. Okay, something on Sabrina's Kitchen. I'm always gonna prettify my food. Makes it special. So there you have it, my Russian salad. Love, lovely rash, Russian salad with, of course, that beautiful Thai cocoa cream, half and half with mayo. I absolutely love this. 
Now you are also, if you want to keep it totally vegan, then by all means use all Thai cocoa cream but you must add some calamansi. So then it's totally vegan and you don't even need your um, yogurt anymore. So you just need that acid with your Thai cocoa cream and you can so do this too. So for vegans you can enjoy that thanks to our Thai kitchen cocoa cream. All right, enjoy. So if you like what you see and you are a lazy cook like me, well, I highly suggest you subscribe, like and share Sabrina's Kitchen on YouTube, please. And we are welcoming you into the Sabrina's Kitchen family. So come join us and let's create lovely dishes for those we love, okay? Subscribe, Sabrina's Kitchen.